Welcome my beautiful Aries. Here is your weekly oracle and tarot card forecast for the week of December the 7th to the 13th, 2020. Right now, taking a look at your reading, crossing over the top here, I can see that there may be con some concerns that you're worried about. You're feeling the, f the emotions of a lack and loss here. Uh, you're getting up in your head. Uh, maybe you're locking horns with an, an opposing energy around you. Um, still not able to see the picture in complete clarity, but at the end of the day, you should be able to have all the resources at your fingertips to help you get through this time. You're going to get the help from somebody here. There's two major here, the Emperor and the King of Cups. And the King of Cups could be male or female water sign that's coming in perhaps to help you with a situation, to console you, to give you advice, uh, to soothe you through something. They do this out of the goodness of their heart. They have this ability to uh, put things in a peaceful and, uh, you know, and more a peaceful light here for you. Don't get up in your head. Trust your intuition. Trust what you, all the information, uh, your knowledge bank, your book of knowledge, your wisdom bank that you have. The moon always comes out at our darkest times. Know that it's going to illuminate everything for you to see a situation and a picture in complete clarity. Trust your intuition here. Step up into your own power. Stay strong. You will win. This situation that you're dealing with here, you will come out the winner. And I'm wondering if perhaps this could be a legal uh, situation that some of you are dealing with. There could be two different people here uh, because below that you have the you have the leader card, the emperor. And this could be the person that's actually going to be able to help you, free you, step up and help you get through a situation here. Well, this could be a lawyer that's consoling you and this could be a judge that's actually going to help you win this situation. It's always, you know, you're going going to be left still feeling defeated, saying to yourself, well, I want it, but I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. Why did it have to come to this? Why did it have to, you know, take this long? Whatever the situation is, Aries, you will come out the winner, but it leaves you feeling, you know, kind of down and out uh, that this has happened to begin with. You know, coming across the bottom is excellent. The help that you get here over some trying situations, some challenging situation over loss is victory after struggle. This is a beautiful card saying that after all the fight, after all the all the struggles, all the challenges you've had to deal with a situation, you do come out the victor. It will come to an end. You're going to look up and say, thank you, God. And you and you realize now you can move on in a new direction. Start new projects. Start, start living your life again temperance everything's taking time okay that's what this coming is coming down to this situation where you feel tied down you can't see a situation in complete clarity it's because there's been a delay it, there's a there's there's a, a pace here that's going slow you're in a pause and temperance is all about doing things in moderation taking your time and that's what this is about but i do think that you're going to win a situation here you're going to have all the resources at your fingertips to help you win this battle and you're getting represented here you are are going to be helped by a lead a leader. This could be organizations. This could be somebody in charge of something very important. As I said, could be a judge, a lawyer, whatever. But because I'm seeing this issue here with the swords here, I'm thinking it could be a legal situation for some of you. Uh, but it's taking time in the now position here. That's what this is. That's what's happening here. In the past, you've had your worries. You've had someone consoling you here. But at the end of the day, you're going to end up with success. Okay, you're going to end up winning whatever this challenge is, whatever this battle is here that's been going on. So, you know, let's see what we have here for, uh, for you know, your confirm confirmation cards here. So coming in here with the crowning energy, you've been given the King of Pentacles and that's the Midas touch. So the King of Pentacles is telling me that the energy there says you're going to come out of this ahead. King of Pentacles puts his hands to anything. He turns it into gold. So you could be dealing with organizations. You could be dealing with money. Something here could have to do with money. Maybe some of you are struggling with finances and you're having to go to somebody to get representation in that department. Others, you know, this is taking opening doors uh, and opportunities coming to 
towards you and opening them with confidence, stepping up and realizing that you can't go wrong. When this card is referred to as a Midas touch, it means that things are going to work out no matter what you do. The decision will be made for you to go forward and for things to work out in your favor. I'm liking the way to start this reading off. Coming in with the Five of Pentacles, feeling lost, lack, uh, it could be money. You've got the Page of Swords and the Page of Swords comes in with information. Pages are always messengers. And this particular page comes in with a message about integrity, truthfulness, seeing the light in something. You're going to be able to receive some truthfulness in something that's coming in. And it could put some delays, uh, you know, to your plans, uh, temporary plans. I talked about that here with the temperance. Things not moving too quickly uh, at this time. In the now position, uh, you've had sort of, um, you know, the brakes have been put on a situation right now. But know that the truth will set you free. Just receive the message because it's an important message message about a truthfulness that's going to help you here. This is getting help, okay? When the five of coins shows up, the five of pentacles shows up, it means keep optimistic. Keep your options open, okay? It says you have the resources here, all right, to at your fingertips to ask for help. And I think this is a help coming in from this page about a situation, and it could be a legal situation where you're hearing about something, and it does put a delay on things. But at the end of the day, it will help. Coming in with the King of Cups. What have we got? The King of Cups, you've got the Nine of Wands. Not giving up, okay? Fighting that battle, not losing, not getting discouraged, okay? Uh, you know, stepping into the honesty here of some help that's coming in. All right, somebody is going to step forward with some charitable advice. Uh, they give you out of the goodness of their heart to, to get you through, uh, you know, a challenge here. But you've had your battles to fight. And this says don't give up, okay? Uh, you know, defend what you've created. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> yeah, defend what you've personally created here. And, um, you know, stand in your power here. Don't allow this to bring you down, okay? Keep moving forward because victory is going to be yours. Okay, after the hard work and effort that you've struggled with, with the situation here, you're going to end up with victory. Maybe something for others, it's just a completion of something, a contract, the end of a situation, the end of a phase in your life. But you're definitely going to look up and say, thank you to the divine sources. And then you're ready to hit the ground running and go in a new direction. Something's completed, it's over, and you're getting recognition for it. Okay, it's like on the masses, people around are going to know uh, about this and you're going to get recognition, but it's good recognition. It's like the pat on the back recognition. Coming in with that, you have the emperor. So we've got the emperor twice here, stepping up, being able to be your own leader again. Okay, so if something's calling for you to step up and be the leader in something, taking over something, being in charge of something, don't be afraid to do that because you obviously have 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 completed something, uh, you know, after all your hard work and effort. And you know what? This victory comes in perhaps with this emperor again, and this emperor could be somebody who represented you. They they were, uh, you know, you looked up to them as someone who was able to lead you through your child your challenges here. As I said, the two of swords is getting up in your head, not seeing a picture in complete clarity here. Okay, in the now position, you're still confused, you're still conflicted, you're, you know, you feel like, you know, you, you have to make a decision and this decision seems to be against some opposition, something or the energy of someone uh, that you're have, you've locked horns with and there's a decision that has to be made. But once the, once you remove the blinders, you're not conflicted, you're not tied down, this decision will be made. The Nine of Pentacles, great card, okay? This is being able to walk in your garden of prosperity and happiness, hope and joy and bliss again. Keeping your eyes open, staying focused, looking towards your goals, not allowing yourself to get discouraged or down here. This decision will be made, okay? And you'll be able to move on and walk in your garden of, of abundance again, feeling that bliss, that liberation, that freedom. Wow, beautiful temperance. We know that that just means things are taking time, doing things in moderation. Don't overextend yourself doing something, uh, you know, that you shouldn't be doing or indulging too much in something you shouldn't be taking. So be careful. Uh, you know, this is about uh, a pause in action, uh, a temporary pause in action. It doesn't mean that this is going to be forever, but right now, for some reason, things are slowed down. And for so many of us in, in, in the wake of the times that we're living in, this has to do with this pandemic. You know, Every time we make a phone call for help or for assistance or for service of some kind, there's some, you know, some delay because they're overbooked, because they can't 
you know, they don't have, or, and even in our hospitals, I mean, you know, there aren't the ORs, there aren't the staff, there aren't, you know, there's, this is the delays. And so much of it has been determined by this pandemic. So <clears throat> just stay in your temporary pause mode. I mean, it could be a blessing in disguise. Maybe you need to take a rest. Maybe you need to just sit down and, and be one with yourself at this time. Coming in with that, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. Well, it is absolutely the perfect card to land on Temperance, isn't it? This is the slowest moving knight on the Zodiac, in the Zodiac, in these decks, any of the decks. This, he, you know, he makes a detailed plan. He doesn't go charging in there on his steed and, uh, you know, and have to pull up on the reins and, and, and stop his steed in a hurry because he's going to jump off a cliff accidentally. No, this, this particular Knight of Pentacles, he's got his head screwed on right. He knows that in this pause state, he's going to start planning and thinking about where he's going <clears throat> when this pause state is over. Okay, so in this temperance mode, you uh, you may be making out a very detailed plan of what your future has to hold for you, staying focused and working on that. So take advantage. As I sa had just said a minute ago, this temperance card could be a blessing in disguise. And then we get this page of pentacles that lands on it. And that's about you taking time, taking your time to make a detailed plan of where it is you want to go in the future to be able to walk in your garden of prosperity. The magician. Wow, coming towards you. Beautiful. Says you have all the time, resources, uh, you know, assistance and, uh, you know, perhaps even money to move towards your goals. This is about saying that you're going to get the help that you need. There's, there may even be some unexpected resources coming into you to assist you to move forward, to make your dreams come true again. So this is saying timing. The timing is right for everything. Coming in with that card, you've been given the Eight of Pentacles. Well, you are planning on moving in a new direction. And we've talked about this before, uh, Aries. <clears throat> You do want to move forward in a new direction here, but you need to stay in balance. Okay, right now with this temperance card, uh, you know, things aren't moving very quickly uh, for you. So you're planning it. Keep moving forward. Make your plan here with the Knight of Pentacles to move forward in the direction you want to go because you know there's something better for you ahead. So stay, maintain balance, stay aligned. Don't waver off uh, your focus destination. Again, the five, I repeat, the five of swords, this is winning a battle, okay? You, you will win something here. This could be a legal situation. You might have won something in court you've been advocating for, you've been fighting for, you've been defending yourself for, whatever the case is here for some of you. For others, it could just be a personal issue. You might have got involved with a co-worker, a friend, uh, perhaps your partner, and you won the battle, but now they're walking away uh, from you. So with all battles, there will be consequences and there will be... <clears throat> you know, feelings of, uh, of, you know, exasperation and frustration and all of that. So there, it comes with, sa with sacrifices, right? This comes with a sacrifice. You're going to win, but that you've sacrificed perhaps an awful lot, uh, to get this, but know that at the end of the day, you will have won this battle. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry, but it is so dry. Now landing on top of the five of swords, you get the eight. And the eight says you feel trapped right now in this pause state of action. You feel like your hands are tied. You can't see the picture in complete clarity. You feel like you can't move forward. You kind of got your back up against the wall. This is about you getting up in your head, Aries. Okay, this is a mindset. So uh, take yourself out of this space. You will win this battle. Yes, it's taking time, that, you know, with this temperance card. But make use of your time, my friends. While you're there in the limbo state, start planning your future. Start looking forward to walking in your garden of prosperity. Start looking forward forward to, you know, the Midas touch card here. I mean, that's one of the best cards here that you can have on the deck to look towards your opportunities. And then with the magician, yeah, this is going to work out in your favor. It's just taking time. So don't get up in your head and feel that it's not going to work out in your favor. There's nothing there impeding her, impeding her movement forward. And uh, she's, she thinks that she can't get up. Okay. So uh, it's all up in your head. Let those thoughts go. The emperor is a leader, a great leader. Could be somebody around you that might be uh, taking on uh, the energy of this emperor uh, there to guide you, to uh, advise you, to take care of you. I like how the emperor is holding 
you know, is holding the, the uh, you know, the, the, the playing uh, tool here of chess. And uh, I'm not familiar with a game of chess, but this means he has control to move that and win the game. He's holding that. It's like having the ace in his hand, right? So this person is definitely going to bring the hammer down. This person is definitely going to be the one I think that's going to help you win this case, okay? Win this case. So this is beautiful. <clears throat> ace of Pentacles. Great news about money. Could be, uh, you know, good information about opportunities, offers, doors opening, poss beautiful possibilities, and um, yeah, great things coming in when this Ace of Pentacles shows up. This, you know, this represents the inflow of abundance. Something good is going to happen here with this leader, with this leadership card, with the emperor card stepping up and having control again of where you want to go or somebody representing you that's going to do that. But it is the card of the inflow of abundance. This is about often it has to do with a promising business venture uh, and important documents and contracts that will require your signature. Beautiful. Now, your first energy card that we have today <clears throat> is the Renewal card. So, the Renewal card, uh, you know, it represents um, you being offered a chance to awaken to a new life. There's going to be a new beginning, something beautiful. I mean, she's sitting there and giving thanks for what she's got here, and it's very similar to the victory card. Look at look at in look at the look at the similarities here, right? Renewal, being able to get offered a new a new uh, a new position, a new part of your life to go into. You may need to deepen your roots and anchor yourself by taking stock of what you would like to create. This is a time to start again and grow a stronger foundation. Beautiful, beautiful card here. So. You know what? This is this is you stepping up, okay? Stepping up and using the resources that you have to benefit you now. Beautiful. The next energy card you've got is not for you. So something's happening here that might not be for you. A clear knowing that something is being denied you, rejected as God's protection. There are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the result you seek always seems to elude you. Okay, so realize that something much better uh, is coming in that's, tr you know, to make you truly happy is on its way and trust it. Okay, so, um, this is, this is not a bad card, right? So you can strategize and project uh, and systemize and invest all your time and energy, but sometimes your best laid plans seem to go awry in spite of it all. Keep your mind in your mind that no effect is wasted. You know, fail fast and learn from defeat. Then keep going. You will eventually succeed, although perhaps not at this game, not at this time. Know when to fold your cards. Okay, so um, I don't think this is... <clears throat> This could be in a relationship for some of you. Uh, maybe some of you are leaving a relationship. Maybe some of you are, you know, you know, giving up, uh, feeling uh, defeated here, uh, wiping your hands clean of a situation and being able to walk away from it. So it also could be something that you might have wanted that came in, you know, you might have been offered something and or waiting for something to come in and you didn't get it right away. Uh, you know, this isn't the card of defeat. This is the card that just says, you know, it's, I always say it's a card of timing. Uh, when something's meant to happen, it'll come in. What do you need to surrender to? You need to surrender to your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can do. Make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too lightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So this is being obsessed, okay, of thinking about something that you want to come to fruition, something to come uh, to pass. And <clears throat> you're obsessing over it. You're allowing it to stress you out. I talked about that here with the Eight of Swords, feeling as though you're trapped in a situation. Get out of your head, okay? Let go of the attachments to the results. Stop obsessing about it. Uh, it's just a pause state right now. Whatever it is you're wanting to see happen, here Aries it's just taking time because as far as I'm concerned you're moving in a new direction your goal is to be able to be happy and walk in your garden of prosperity again right now you know you're in this pause state but you've got the Midas touch in the center you know right here in the center here where the, the moon is going to illuminate and the, and the truth is going to come out and you're going to see something uh, you know that illuminates everything and makes everything brighter and better so you know with the Midas touch card on top of that there's opportunities and offers coming into you I mean this this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Your final outcome card here is the ink pot. Problems 
can be resolved. Well, there you go. Okay, it's just taking time and these things are going to be resolved. You know, the fact that you got the renewal card starting over, you got the victory card here. It's just taking time. Well, my beautiful Aries, this is your reading for this week and I wish you a great remainder to today. Please play safe, stay safe and be safe and I'll see you soon.